This is the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or JASM. It is a large, expensive American long-range stealth cruise missile capable of advanced independent navigation and targeting. JASMs are armed with a powerful 450 kilogram armor-piercing warhead, which can easily destroy or disable most targets, from warships to critical military infrastructure. In this video, I'm going to show you how the JASM is a nightmare for America's enemies. We'll discuss new and unconventional ways the JASM can be launched, and I'll give a hypothetical scenario how a barrage of JASMs can cripple even the strongest Navy. I say the JASM is a nightmare for America's adversaries because it uses stealth technology, making it extremely difficult to intercept. It can also independently navigate and identify high value targets. JASMs don't need a GPS connection to navigate and find their target. So they're basically invulnerable to electronic warfare and they're nearly impossible to target by air defense systems. There are four versions of the JASM. The original, the AGM-158B, it has extended range of about a thousand kilometers. There's the 158C. This is a cutting edge anti-ship missile. It's called the LORASM, or Long Range Anti-Ship Missile. I like to say LRASM, the LRASM. And then there's the latest version just released. It's the 158XR, or Extreme Range. With its top range, it's still a secret, but we can assume it's over a thousand kilometers. A quick note about the LRASMs. They are one of the most advanced weapons in the entire world. The LRASM has incredibly advanced stealth technology and even better targeting capabilities than JASMs. Apparently, its stealth is so advanced that it defeats radar detection, of course, but it also can't be detected by infrared or heat sensors. So, an air defense system can't even target the heat from its engines. An LRASM can really only be detected visually, and if that does happen, it's just too late for the LRASM's target. These cruise missiles, they're very, very impressive, but they are not perfect. In my opinion, they have two significant flaws, their large size and their cost. A single JASM costs more than a million dollars, and one LRASM costs over three million dollars. This is just too expensive to waste. So these missiles must be used on important targets. Their large size and their heavy weight is another issue. Some fighter jets like the F-16s are actually too small to carry JASMs. And other fighters like F-35s and F-15s, they can only carry two JASMs. Now American bombers, they can carry 20 or 24 depending on the bomber. With China's recent massive military buildup, the U.S. realized that they needed a new solution. They needed a cost-effective method to quickly launch lots and lots of JASM cruise missiles. So, the U.S. Air Force developed a solution, the Rapid Dragon Missile System. The Rapid Dragon is a computerized pallet system that is designed to be airdropped from a cargo plane, turning a cargo airplane into a cruise missile bomber. That's right. The MVP of this video is a computerized pallet. Please don't click away. Please keep watching. Let me show you how cool the Rapid Dragon is. The Rapid Dragon is a revolutionary system that can be configured to fit either six or nine AGM-158 cruise missiles. The computer on the Rapid Dragon can give the missiles all the targeting data that they require for their mission. So 
there's no need for additional training for aircraft crews. For example, a smaller cargo plane, like the C-130, can carry at least two Rapid Dragon pallets with six missiles each, making an ordinary C-130 into a cruise missile bomber with a payload of 12 missiles, much more than what an F-35 can carry. The Rapid Dragon is even more impressive when they're launched from a large cargo plane like the C-17 Globemaster. A single C-17 can carry five pallets of nine missiles each, meaning a C-17 can launch 45 JASMs. It's worth mentioning that the U.S. has routine cargo flights in the West Pacific between bases in Japan and Okinawa, Guam, and the Philippines. Rapid Dragons make it possible that any one of these routine flights could actually be a bombing mission. Additionally, the U.S. is developing more missiles that can be launched from the Rapid Dragon. U.S. defense contractor Anduril has developed the Barracuda cruise missiles. The largest version, the Barracuda 500, also has a range of about a thousand kilometers and it's designed to work with the Rapid Dragon. From what I know, the Barracuda missiles aren't stealth missiles like JASMs, but they are much, much cheaper and faster to manufacture. That's actually their whole selling point. Barracuda cruise missiles are specifically designed for fast mass production. So let's consider a hypothetical scenario. A few years from now, let's say there's a major conflict in the West Pacific and the U.S. intervenes. Taking off from the American territory in Guam, the U.S. Air Force flies five C-17s, a very safe distance from any adversarial force. These five C-17s fly to about a thousand kilometers to their targets. That's when they each drop five Rapid Dragon pallets. They launch 90 Barracuda cruise missiles, armed with electronic jamming warheads instead of explosive warheads. The mission of the Barracuda missiles is to confuse and overload the capacity of enemy air defense systems. Behind the Barracuda missiles are 135 stealthy JASMs. They sneak past the confused enemy air defenses and they slam into their targets with 450 kilogram armor piercing warheads. This destroys or disables many high value targets like air defense systems and even warships. Imagine a hundred warships, each costing about a billion dollars, taking years and years to build, disabled or destroyed in just a matter of minutes. All this is from only five C-17 cargo planes flying a thousand kilometers away. The U.S. operates over 200 C-17s. This scenario shows just how much force the U.S. is preparing to deliver in the West Pacific. Of course, in the event of an actual conflict, the U.S. would also have aircraft carrier groups nearby, as well as stealth fighters and stealth bombers doing secret missions striking targets deep into the enemy territory. It's clear to me that the Rapid Dragon was specifically developed to counter China's huge military buildup. And considering that it was named after an ancient Chinese weapon, the Ji Long Chu, the message to the CCP isn't very subtle. I truly believe that the best way to maintain peace is diplomacy backed by military strength. Peace through strength. I would love to see Taiwan and the U.S. maintain its great relationship and continue to have a strong mutual beneficial relationship 
in the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. An extra big thank you to all of my channel members. Thank you so much. You are all amazing, and I am extremely grateful for your support. Thank you so much. Let's hope that we can maintain peace in Taiwan and the world as a whole becomes more peaceful. Every single one of us want to live in peace and prosperity, and we want a peaceful world for the future generations. Right? Peace. Love. See ya.